Hello, Professor Poiser here again, and I want to show you how to use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. And once again, it is an equation because of the equal sign, and it's quadratic because the largest exponent is a 2. I've got the quadratic formula over here, uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So the first thing I'm going to do this to this equation, in fact, I'm going to show you two different ways to solve this equation. Let's, let's do it, though, first with the quadratic formula, since that's what this question is asking for. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring that 9x that's on the uh, right-hand side over to the left-hand side, along with that 4x squared. So now my equation looks like this, 4x squared minus 9x equals 0. I need to pick off what a, b, and c are because that's what's needed in my formula over there for the quad formula. So I need to know what a is. That's just the coefficient 4. And b is that coefficient of negative 9. And I notice that there is no constant term over here on the left-hand side. So since there is no constant term, then that c must be 0. All right, so we've got all the players now, and we're just going to plug them into our quadratic formula. So here it goes. I've got x is equal to, and the way I read that, instead of reading it as negative b, I often read that as give me the opposite of b. So since my b is a negative 9, uh, the opposite of that would be a positive 9. So I've got positive 9 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's negative 9 times itself, which is 81, minus 4 times a couple of numbers. This is interesting because those numbers are 4, which is my a, and 0, which is my c. Now that's going to pose uh, something fun there. We're going to come back to that in a second. All over 2 times a, well my a is a 4, so it's 2 times 4. Okay, so far so good. Um, I hope you see that my denominator is just simply going to be an 8 because 2 times 4 is 8. All right, there's my denominator of 8. Um, I also have this 9 out front, so it's 9 plus or minus. But let's take a look a little bit more closely at what's happening inside of this square root. Now keep in mind that if all of this stuff inside the square root shrinks down to be a negative number, then you can stop right there because the square root of a negative number is not real. We don't have to solve that, at least not for Matt 099. So Let's, uh, let's start with this. Look, I've got some multiplication to do over here, and I hope you see that 0 times either of these numbers, times that 4 times that 4, is just going to give me a 0 anyways. So I really have 81 minus 0, and 81 minus 0, because all of this stuff cancels out. Right? 81 minus 0 is just 81, so I have the square root of 81 up top. Well, we can simplify that even a little bit more. That just shrinks down to be a 9 plus or minus 9, because again, the square root of 81 is just becoming that 9 right there, all over 8. Do you see that there are two things going on in this problem? There's up top in the numerator, there's 9 plus 9 divided by 8, and there's 9 minus 9 all over 8. So there are two operations going on. Let me just slide this up so you can see a little bit better. There are two operations going on up top here. There's the plus, and there's also the minus. I have to take both of those into consideration, Okay, the plus and the minus. So for this first fraction, 9 plus 9, well, my numerator then becomes an 18 all over 8. And that simplifies down to, hey, that's just you know, cut each of those in half. You get 9 over 4. There's one answer showing up. And the other one is a fun case where 9 minus 9, well, that's just a 0. So since that's just a 0 over 8, well, any number, right, 0 divided by any number here really is just going to give me a 0. So my final other answer is 0. It's coming from there. So I have two answers out of this. I've got 9 fourths and I have 0. And that's exactly, if you're using my math lab, what you're going to type in on my math lab. It doesn't matter which number you type in first. So in the box in my math lab, you can type in 0, 9 fourths. And there is your final answer for my math lab. You can type the 9 fourths first if you want. Hope that helps.